60 years ago, an F-106 Delta Dart from Minot Air Force Base crashed in a field between Raleigh and Flasher. Pilot William Richardson was killed. Today, people in Flasher remembered Richardson and his service. Maya Fleck was there. Fire! It's been six decades since flyers with the 5th Interceptor Squadron were practicing drills during the Cold War. When something went wrong and Captain Bill Richardson's plane crashed here, and it was here, along with family, that members of Flasher's American Legion held a ceremony to commemorate him. You know, for me, it's obviously incredibly emotional. That's, I mean, my dad's been dead for more than 60 years, and I have been amazed by just the generosity and the reverence and all of the just the emphasis that people still put on this one pilot who died so long ago. Heal says it feels like it was just yesterday for the people celebrating his life. I've been asking him for signs all week and you know there's not every single thing that we've done we went back to the crash site before everyone got here and you know that was very sobering to be standing in the spot where the plane crashed. She has been piecing together his last moments for years and this is a pivotal part of her findings. Well, I know he's held my hand for the last 20 years um, because really that's how long this journey has been. The local historians have been collecting his story to share with his family. I always had a piece of the plane my dad picked up and I come across that one time and and I was thinking you know we should probably put up a memorial. He says it's important to remember this history so people don't ever repeat the bad things that have happened. This history was spread to four Flasher High School students who made the monument. It's, it's very important because they, they lose that especially this day and age we, we need them to to realize where what our history was and where we were. He says 60 years later and generations removed, the students were able to pay their respects. In Flasher, I'm Maya Fleck reporting for your News Leader. It took the students more than three weeks to create the monument.